Hey everybody, Ash here with Gin Sense. Today I'm coming at you with a new fragrance review on a fragrance that's been kind of hard to get for a long time now. It just started popping up at discounters and you can buy it on eBay from people in Poland. Either way you want to go, you can actually pick it up now for a decent price. This is a fragrance house that I've talked about a few times on this channel. In particular, all the fragrances associated with this line. You already know what it is. It is Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Alright, let's check out this presentation really quickly. The box looks like pretty much any other box in this line. You've got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration down here at the bottom. Nothing on the sides. Ferrari there at the top. Up at the top you have your official Ferrari product seal, your ingredients list, and then on the bottom of the box your batch code is punched in right there. And here we've got the bottle, again the exact same as all the other bottles in this line. Name of the house, name of the fragrance, you have this faux leather that goes around the metal cap. It is quite heavy, it's high quality, it does click into place and the atomizer on these is really good as well. Bottle obviously is see-through, gives you a good look at the amount of fragrance that you have left. And at the bottom of the bottle here, etched into the glass, you'll find your batch code. There we have the presentation on Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. I really like the presentation on these Ferrari bottles. It's a lot higher quality than you would expect. So this line has produced a whole lot of summer bangers that you can get on the cheap. And this one really is no different. The one up until this point that's received the most hype is Bright Neroli, which is a really good Neroli fragrance, a very cheap alternative to Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. And Bergamot, along with Neroli, are two of the best notes for any summertime fragrance. So let's check this one out, see if this is worth the money, which you would really have to suck to not be worth the money considering you can pick this up for under 30 bucks. So obviously the main note here, the focal point, is gonna be the Bergamot. It's right in the name. And right away I wanna tell you guys, this is not an alternative to Bergamot 22. It doesn't really smell like Bergamot 22. It's just not an alternative the same way that Brighton Neroli might be to Neroli Portofino, like we talked about earlier. What this does smell more similar to is Aqua de Parma Colonia, which is much more expensive than this one. Radiant Bergamot is a very good alternative to that fragrance. This one opens up with a nice, semi-spicy, very soapy green bergamot. There's also a ginger note and some lemon in there that kind of rounds everything off. It is clean and it is fresh, but it's not as bright or uplifting as Bright Neroli is. Which I guess you would expect since Bright is in the name of Bright Neroli. That spicy nuance that this fragrance has pretty much stays in the whole way through. When you hit the mid, you get a warm nutmeg note that comes in, which is a little bit interesting because you don't usually think of nutmeg as being in a summertime fragrance, but it doesn't screw things up here, so it's okay. There's also a geranium note, which gives off a little bit of a lemony floral feel. Mixes in really well with the bergamot and the citrus. The dry down pretty much retains that same semi-spicy, soapy, green bergamot feeling just mellowed down. There's also a hint of sweetness in here throughout, but it's not a cloying sweetness, it's not a syrupy sweetness. It does come across more natural, more realistic. It really just adds a little nuance or a touch of sweetness. Overall, this is a solid release, but it's not as good as Bright and Rolly in my opinion. And if I'm being completely honest, I would probably put Noble Fig and Pure Lavender over top of Radiant Bergamot as well. So that's kind of a bummer for me because Bergamot is one of my absolute favorite notes, especially this time of year. And just to clarify, I'm not saying that Radiant Bergamot sucks. I'm not saying that it's not good. More than anything, that just speaks to the quality of the Ferrari fragrances. You wouldn't expect that since Ferrari is known for making Italian supercars, but their fragrances, in particular this line of fragrance, which again is Radiant Bergamot, Bright Neroli, Pure Lavender, and Noble Fig, they're just really high quality fragrances and one of them is gonna have to come in fourth. And also, just for the record, it is not at all redundant to own this fragrance and Bright Neroli. They're not at all alike, they're not at all similar, other than the fact that they're both spring and summer fragrances. Longevity for me on this one is more in the five hour range. Not great, but you could reapply, and this is cheap, so it's not something you really have to go light on the trigger. You can spray it on heavy if you want to. Projection, more in the moderate range. It's really strongest in the beginning with the bergamot, the lemon, the ginger. As it dries down, it sits a little closer to the skin. But again, just spray it on heavier if you want better performance. All right, guys, that is my quick take on Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Don't regret the purchase at all. It is cheap. You can find this now on FragranceX, Perfume.com, or on eBay. So it's no longer difficult to pick this up. But the Ferrari fragrances are a little hit or miss. Sometimes they'll pop up at discounters and then go away for months and then come back. So if you've been interested in this one, go ahead and pick it up now. It's not gonna cost you that much. You're gonna get a solid fragrance that you can wear a lot in the spring or summer. It's got a really nice, spicy, soapy, fresh green bergamot feel. 
Again, great alternative to Aqua de Parma Colonia. Really can't go wrong with it. I'm a fan of the whole line. There it is, Radiant Bergamot. If you've picked this one up and smelled it, let me know what you think about it in the comments. Let's go ahead and do a giveaway with this one as well. Once we hit 300 likes, we're gonna make this one more accessible. I'll go ahead and pick a random comment from below using random comment picker, and then pin that comment to the top of the comments list. You can check back and whoever won, reach out to me, claim your prize, either through email or through YouTube Messenger. And I'll get you a decant from my bottle so you can check this guy out. Also, if you like these videos, please remember to subscribe, like the video, and hit that little notification bell. That way you get notified anytime that I do an upload. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.